Hey there, this is Reggie. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use Social Report to build custom PDF reports and automate its delivery. We also offer exporting to Excel, but in this video, we'll focus on generating PDF reports. Before we get started, let me quickly introduce you to reporting within Social Report. Social Report has organized its reporting into two sections, cross-channel and channel reports. Cross-channel will focus on the project's performance as a whole. So if we jump into the key metrics report, for example, this will give us an overview of the performance of each network connected at a high level. Jumping into optimization helps us understand best engagement days and times for our project. We also have a ton of reports focused on each individual channel. As you can see, we have channel reports prepared for each channel that you have connected to this project. You may open up a Facebook channel report and browse around Facebook specific insights. You may also go into Twitter, Google Analytics, or any other channel available in this project. For each network you connect, Social Report will have unique reports to check out. To get these charts from the dashboard into PDF Report, let's head over to our Reports menu and click on Export PDF Report. From here, you'll be able to select what type of report you want to run. We've created a few presets for you, but you'll ultimately want to create a custom report, so we'll choose that. You'll be given a list of widgets and charts to add to this report, and you can customize this however you'd like. You can select some items from the cross-channel reports, and by using the filters above, we can search for reports from Facebook, and even Instagram. When you're satisfied with the items you've chosen, you can save the selection as a template, so you don't have to rebuild this list again. And you'll even have the ability to copy this template over to another project if you'd like. We'll go ahead and move on to the next part, where we'll be able to create a custom cover page. Maybe type in a quick summary of the report or add any images if you'd like, but then we'll choose how the PDF is to be delivered. Your options include downloading it as a PDF from the dashboard, or having it saved to an external folder like Google Drive, or even having this report emailed automatically to either a team member or a client. After that, we'll choose when we want the report to run, which can either be right away, at a future date, or set up a recurring report, or maybe scheduling the first of the month to have Social Report automatically email your client a report on the previous month's analytics. Once we schedule the report to run, and the report is completed, depending on what you chose, it'll either be automatically emailed, uploaded to your external folder, or become available within the dashboard for download. To access any previously ran report, let's head to the reports and click on Report Calendar. This will give us a calendar view of any reports we've ran over the period of this month. Clicking on the report listed on any date, you'll be given the option to download the PDF. We can also head to the report archive to get a list view of any reports ran and be able to download it here as well. Here's an example of a completed report. One thing to keep in mind is that the logo on the first page can be customized as a part of our white labeling feature. That's it. With Social Report, you'll be able to generate custom PDFs and even schedule it to be delivered automatically on a recurring basis. If you have any questions or just need some help, be sure to reach out to our support team.